Tip of the season. It's meant to be one of the best times of the year, and this year in particular, it feels like it's fallen flat on its face. How are we going, ladies and gents? I'm Broke Boy. This is my YouTube channel. If you like the content, you like this kind of video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Link to the Twitch stream down below as well. I'll be playing some FIFA later today, although there's no content. And that's the main gripe I have with this video, is that there is no content from EA. There's been a very mix and match set of content during Team of the Season, and it makes me disappointed in this company because you've driven everyone else away. Gameplay is god-awful. Everything else is flat as a fucking tack. No one wants to do anything with this game except grind the menus, grind the SBCs, grind the upgrade packs, and you don't give us anything to grind. Like, most people have done all of the SBCs you're looking at. Most people have done or are in the midst of doing them. And there should be a lot more. Like the live section. We've had one we've had two League One Team of the Seasons released. We've had a Premier League card released during League One Team of the Season. Where was this card when we wanted it? Where was this card when we actually needed it during the Premier League Team of the Season? They just decided, oh no, we're going to make you wait another three, four weeks to get this card. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. Compared to this time last year, and compared to the end of the game last year, they were releasing juice transfer cards. They were releasing some of the best cards of the game. They were releasing icon SBCs that were easily repeatable, and they were releasing repeatable TOTS SBCs. Like, where's the kind of content we have? Because people are packing such high-rated fodder, and they're having to sit there with their fingers fucking twiddling their thumbs, and they can't do anything with it. It's annoying. Thankfully, I don't grind the game as much as a lot of people, but I feel sorry for them, because you sit there, and you think, well, how hard can it be? We had one SBC release today. Kevin Rollin. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a good card. It is a good card, but... Really? It's like... <laughs> it's one squad, and it's an 80... It's an 86 rated squad. Considering people get Team of the Seasons dime a dozen, it takes like three Team of the Seasons and a bunch of fodder to complete it, and then you're done. You don't have anything else. Like, at least if there was an icon to do, and yes, the argument is, oh, but there's icons you can do. But most of those icons just don't fit in people's teams, or they're not, like, they're too much... I don't know, I don't think everyone wants to be grinding the same stuff. I think we all want something different. Like, that's why you need a repeatable moments icon. And don't say repeatable prime moments, you've done prime moments. You have moments packs in your icon swaps, do them in the game so that everyone has a chance. So that every little Timmy and Jimmy who has the fodder can have a chance. And yes, make it two or three squads, but don't price us all out of it. Because we've all got the fodder sitting there. We've all got the fodder. Everyone's packed at least 50 Yilmazes or 50 Labordes or 50 this, 50 that. And what can we do with it? Sit on the transfer list until a fucking rainy day comes along. And it ain't just feels so... It just feels like they're really trying their hardest to make sure that the content is so uneven. Like, Bundesliga, we had... A showdown SBC, we had a bunch of TOTS SBCs, we had Flashback and Babu, some of the best content all year. And there's very few leagues that actually matched it. Like, La Liga was the same. La Liga had a bunch of good flashbacks as well, and a bunch of good SBCs, but it feels like that's the only SBCs and content that people are interested in. Now... Next week is the supposed last week of Team of the Season. We don't know what's happening. They are very non-transparent. They don't say, well, this is what's going to happen. Like, hold on, let me... Can we get a confirm? 
I haven't played Foot Champs on this account. This is my Road to Glory, which I barely play on, because what's the point? What's the point? <laughs> but we're going to get not here. Not here. Is it here? Oh. <laughs> haven't even updated it. Haven't even updated it. And they haven't even put the fucking thing in the code. They haven't even put the thing in the code which shows they're fucking terrified because they've got no clue what's coming. You don't even know what you're getting for top 200. You don't even know what you're getting for player picks. Like, you know what EA should do? Just put all the tots into player picks. I don't care. But if you hit any... If you don't hit silver... Like, silver one, you might put 88 rated... But you can't get anything below 88 if you're a gold 3 or above. Just so it's fair, because people have been grinding their asses off all year, we deserve to have some good red picks. Whether it be fodder, whether it be usable, whether it be this, that, or the other, everyone deserves a decent opportunity at these cards. No one wants to be using the sort of cards that you're seeing on your screen, like, no one wants to use the same boring old cards. Give us some cards. Like, Aguero has just been transferred to Barcelona. Give us a trans- uh, give us a fucking end- not end of era. Give us a fucking juiced Aguero Barcelona card. Obviously, he's probably one of the few, but... When the transfer window starts opening up and you start getting more transfers, we need the juice transfers, like the Chelsea Werner and the and the Leroy Sane and stuff like that. Because it's going to encourage people to play the game. If you don't encourage people to play your game and you don't encourage people to get behind the content, you're not going to have anyone left. And it's going to hurt for the next year. Because realistically... Realistically, it's the same sort of cycle every year. Tots comes around, and then Tots is over, Except the only difference this year is we've got the Euros, but they don't even have the licensing of the Euros. The licensing of the Euros is with Pez, so whatever they're going to call it, Festival of Football, whatever not, that's probably what they'll call it, because it's Copa America and the Euros. They better smash the content out of the park, because if they don't, it's going to turn away a lot of people, whether it be hardcores, whether it be hardcore grinders, hardcore gameplay, hardcore this, that or the other, it's going to turn everyone away, and they're not going to want to come back. They're going to want to play games that people don't really play anymore, like your Fall Guys or your Subnauticas or other games that people have been playing. And you don't want that. You want to keep people on your game as long as possible. Because it'll look good in your metrics when you say, Oh, we had this many people playing in a dead period when it was like June, July, August. Uh, well, congratulations, you won't be doing that. You won't be doing that. Now, me... I play FIFA, so I don't really have much of a choice. I'm not that good at many other games. I'm sure there's some games I'll try, but it is what it is. We make effort with what we can, and we see what they give, and hopefully they give some good stuff that motivates me to play this game. Because I admit, during the week, FIFA's very dead. Because <laughs> once you play your 30 Rivals games, and once you play your Weekend League... Sorry. Once you play your 30 Rivals slash Weekend League games... There's nothing to do unless you want to grind the objective, so you want to grind for random stuff like you... I don't even know. It's not fun. I'll, t I'll, I'll put it that way. It ain't fun. It ain't fun. But yeah, this is just... This is more of a rant style video, because it's just really annoying to see what happened to EA and what they do. They're so inconsistent. They need to pick up. Ultimate Tots is make or break. If they don't release good content next week, yes, you can put the best team possible, but if you don't release good content, it's not going to encourage people to spam your upgrades or spam this or spam that. Because people are going to know that they're not guaranteed to get anything, and they're going to just be like, well, let's just play other stuff instead. But yeah, if you enjoy this video, let's have a discussion in the comments down below. Get your comments in. I'll read every single one of them. But for now, I'm going to get back to doing whatever I was doing on this account, and I will catch you all in the next one.